What's good y'all, this your boy DCPRT and this video is about trade ideals. I'm going to show y'all how I use trade ideals, my settings, um, my gap per percentage gainers, um, the momentum stock scanner, and you know some scanners that you know pick up my type of um, strategy, like what I like to trade in stocks. So, uh, um, as y'all can see right here, I got the gappers, the percentage gappers. Let's check out the percentage gainers. Um, as y'all can see, load is the top dog, L O D E, then P E T Z, C O P S, on down. Let me show y'all how I got it set up. And as y'all hear, she was calling out pets, P E T Z, because it's on a Momo scanner. So you go to. This pet is going off. <laughs> let me turn off. Let me turn this off right quick, so I won't interrupt the video. But um, let me show y'all my settings for the gap percentage gainers. Go to current settings and advance. Okay. Now I got the price the change from close the volume today and the average daily volume so how I trade you know you can put it however you want to put it for price if you trade stocks $50 or above just put $50 and you can put a zero you can put nothing right there but my range is $2 to $30 sometimes I may trade $50 stocks but my range is 2 to 30 so I put 2 30 so it's only gonna pick up stocks in that range. Then you got change from clothes. I just put 0 0.01. Um, volume today, at least 2,500. So it don't be picking up garbage. You know, sometimes these scanners will pick up garbage because they're not trading volume. We want volume. Average daily volume, 5,000. And that's it. Um, and then the columns, as y'all can see right here, the columns right here. These little um, turquoise looking tabs. This is where I got set up the price, change from clothes, share outstanding, float, short, change from clothes, gout, relative volume, volume today, held by institutions, that's important, volume, five minutes, earnings date, and held by insiders. So the most important ones is the held by institutional and um, gout percentage. That's pretty much all you need, um, but a lot of these, you know, you know, indicators help, you know. So um, to get the percentage, you click double click on gap percentage, and it will just show you the highest gap. So low is the highest gapper. Let me show you all right quick. That's low right here. Came from two dollars all the way to eleven. Now it's at 782, and it's showing that it's up 332% topped out. You know, that's what it's showing right now. Is at 248.8, or you can do it, you know, by or you can do it like this. This is probably the best one the um, change from close, or you can do the gap percentage, it shows you the top gainers. So that's how I got the game to set, uh, set up and just go to up gappers. Um, go back, um, just go to gout and up gappers. That's how you find it. Up gappers and then you can set it to how you want to set it. Like I did the two, two to thirty dollars a share, stuff like that. So, and how to even get to the gainers, uh, you, you click new and then top list window. New top list window and then hit this plus sign right here for gaps then up gappers then boom you good then you can set it how you want to set it like how i got these tabs and all that that i showed earlier in the video next is um this little montage right here just showing you the stock so if i need quick news or whatever if i like why stock is going up um you can just tick in, type in a ticker like load it'll load up as y'all can see right here 
you can go to news you can see all the news details profile um, what industry is in um, the whole nine you know that's just like a quick little tool like if you need to you know see news or whatever it's useful uh, when you're on the go so cuz um you know these stocks move fast sometimes you don't really have time but, but boom just one click and there you go okay the momo scanner when y'all heard that woman going off um let me turn it back on go to actions and just play sound you can set up your sound so anytime a, a stop pops she's going to sound off um so p-e-z p-e-t-z as y'all can see it's fight and she pulled it up um right here let's see at 10 45 see she went off 10 45 a.m boom it was at 14 dollars and she signed off so that's how you can catch momentum stops going up and you can get a piece of the pie short it long it whatever you want to do it was just, it would just pull up stock see dogs pets mtc clps anything's popping up and you can set this too um go to strategies configure go to advance these um what i got set up for the alerts 2 to 30 as the price that's it that's all i have and I don't, I don't have too much tabs right here because it just is a uh, momo because it, it's just a momentum scanner so um i don't have too much up there i just want her to just call out plays that just spiking you know on volume so that's the momo scanner right there and how to get to that is um go here and then go to alert window well see i got an m right here see that m M multi strategy window click on it and set your strategy see I got multiple strategies going on so that's why I did multiple if you want to just do alert you can do alert you know for a single um, alert you can just play around with it so what you have to do it's a lot I will tell you that it, it is a lot in trade ideas uh, so that's why you gotta just play around with it like I like I did. Um, I try to keep it simple. I know it's more things in trade ideas that I can use that may help me. I haven't discovered it yet. Um, sometimes we get comfortable with, with what we already know. CHNR. Let's check it out. See? Boom. See? CHNR. I'm glad that happened during the video. See, it catches it when it takes off. Once it hit the criteria as far as volume, then that's when it picks up. I'm not interested if it's up on 100 shares. It's not gonna pull that up. It gotta be on some volume. 500,000 shares traded in these candles, and she picked it up, CHNR. So that's a Momo scanner. CHNR, 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 NR, CHNR, CHNR. And last is my bottoms. You know, when, when it stops bottom out and, and and go the other way. Um, this is what I got set up right here. So it pick up any stops that double bottoms and continue go, going up. So that's what that's what I like about this scanner right here. This is what I got set up. Consolidation tab, double bottom tab, max price tab, um, gap percentage tab, price tab, volume, that's important, and the average daily volume. That's what I got. As I can see, 2 to 30, at least 50,000 um, volume, gap at least 5%, and relative volume 1. That's what I got set up for that double bottom indicator and it got multiple stops that it pulled up and that's basically it um if i'm missing anything y'all let me know um this is just a quick video 
you know about trade ideas um i may make a part two on trade ideas get more specific but this video just showing y'all my settings what do i use in trade ideas how it's helping me um and if i come across something new that's very helpful i will share it in the video so that's it for this video i hope y'all learned something trade ideas is nice i think i paid like pay a little bit under a hundred dollars or maybe a hundred dollars a month for trade ideas and um yeah it's useful and that's it for this video talk to y'all later peace